I sat in the back of the church, waiting for my friend to arrive. It was my first time attending Mass at St. Benedict's, and I felt very out of place. I wore a simple white dress, with matching shoes and stockings. My long brown hair was pulled up into a bun on top of my head. None, the priest said. I know you're nervous, but please stand and face me. He smiled warmly at me. I stood slowly, unsure what to do next. Good, now I want you to take off your dress. But before I could say anything, he continued, you don't have to be shy. You are a beautiful woman. You should feel free to show yourself off. If you are shy about it, we can go somewhere else. But I didn't move. He sighed. Okay, if you insist, turn around and face the altar. I did as I was told, feeling more naked than ever before. Now, take off your bra and panties. I hesitated again, then I reached behind myself and unhooked my bra. Then I slid my panties down my legs, stepped out of them, and put them on the bench beside me. Very good. Now turn back around. I turned so quickly that I almost fell over. Oh my, the priest exclaimed. Are you okay? Yes, I replied. I'm fine. Well, let's see how you look without your clothes on. I took a deep breath and slowly began to unbutton my dress. When it was open, I shrugged it off and dropped it on the floor. I stood there in just my stockings and heels. I looked at him, hoping that he would tell me to stop. Instead, he walked toward me and took my hand. He led me to the center of the room, where they were alone. He kissed me gently on the lips. I opened my mouth slightly, letting his tongue slip inside. His hands roamed all over my body, touching every part of me. I felt his hard cock pressing against my leg. He moved away and took off his cassock. Then he lifted me onto the altar and laid my back on the table. He leaned over me and kissed me again. This time I returned his kiss, sucking on his tongue. He reached between my legs and touched my pussy. She moaned softly. He slipped a finger inside me. I gasped and he pushed two fingers inside me. I was wet and ready. He removed his fingers and brought them to his nose. Um, delicious, he said. Then he lowered his head and licked her juices from his fingers. God, you taste good. Hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to never miss any of my stories. He whispered, I want to taste you. He spread her legs wide apart and lowered his head to my pussy. He ran his tongue along my slit, tasting my sweetness. I grabbed his hair and held him tight to my cunt. He licked harder and faster until I came, crying out his name. He licked my clean, then lay down on the table beside me. They kissed again, and I stroked his cock through his pants. Please, fuck me, I begged. But first, I need to taste you again. He unfastened his pants and pulled out his hard cock. I took it in my mouth and sucked on it like I had never done before. It was so much bigger than I had imagined. He placed his hands on my head and started thrusting his hips forward and backward. I loved the way he filled my mouth. Suck me, nun, he commanded. I obeyed, taking as much of his cock into my throat as I could. He fucked my mouth harder and harder until he exploded in my mouth. I swallowed every drop, not wanting to waste any. Then he sat up and kissed me deeply. Thank you, I whispered. That was amazing, he smiled. Thank you for listening to my story. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe.